Mary Orvis Marbury has one sentence about the spider hackle in her 1892 book, Favorite Flies and Their Histories. She says the spider hackle is a favorite fly with Mr. W.C. Prime, who considers its action upon the water extremely lifelike. I'm tying this hackle from the illustration by Mary's father. I'm tying it on a number 14 dry fly hook, although I'm thinking it's probably fished as a wet fly. And I'm guessing that simply by the size of the hackle and its style. I'm using black thread because it is a black spider. And uh, it's hard to tell what the tag in the illustration is, so I'm just going to use some silver tinsel. This is actually extra small. I tried using a larger tinsel and didn't like the look. And this is a double colored, it's a gold silver tinsel, so when I tie it in, I'm tying the gold side out. That way when I flip to wrap, then it's the silver side out, because I want a silver tag on a black fly, although a gold tag might be just as good. Just kind of making an editorial decision as I tie this fly because there are no instructions, no recipe, just the illustration by Charles Orvis. So just wrap a tag on there and it doesn't matter how long my tag is right now, I'm just going to cover that up, cover a lot of that up when I wrap, wrap the body in. So to catch in, I do three wraps over, and then to secure, three wraps under, and there's nothing magic about three, but that's kind of what I've standardized at. Clip off that tag. For the body, I am using black dirty bug yarn. I suspect that the fly was tied with black wool. A lot of the patterns in Mary's book are tied with wool. And so this approximate black wool, I don't have any black wool. But, and then the body is fairly full on the illustration. So I'm just kind of wrap up over itself, touching, overlapping, stacking wraps with the black wool to create the body on this fly. And again, I don't know, is it a dry fly? Is it a wet fly? I'm you know, guessing that this kind of body is not going to be conducive to floating very well. So it might be fished as an emerger. It might be fished as a drowning spider. It's called a spider. Uh, and spiders, I would guess, are gonna be a surface, but I don't know. So just wrap the body in again. I'm going to catch in with three wraps over the top. And then pull my yarn to the back of the hook. Go three wraps underneath to secure it. And clip off that extra. For the hackle, I do have some black hen cape, or hen saddle, and I have taken that uh, hen saddle feather and stripped off one side. So with the feather shiny side out, dull side towards the hook, that when I wrap it, that'll uh, make the fibers bend backwards or flow back to the back of the hook. And then I'm going to just grab the tip, separate out the tip to tie in, and do a few wraps around there just to grab that. I can wrap underneath of it too. And then I've discovered, you know, maybe it's just my clumsy fingers, that trying to break that tip off, I end up pulling the whole hackle out, so I'm just going to clip it off. And then I'll grab that stem with my hackle pliers. And then as I wrap it, I'll keep those 
fibers pointing back towards the hook bend and I might want to actually pull them back a little bit as I wrap. If I try to wrap in front of the previous wrap, I think it's a little cleaner, although it's not always easy to do. The hackle in the illustration does appear to be very full and very long. So, you know, two times the hook gap is probably not too short. And I'll just keep wrapping that stem until I've got all the fibers on the hook. And then I will catch in that stem, my three catch-in wraps, let go of the stem, and then I can pull back on everything and wrap up over the stem and wrap the head. It's not a big head, and I think I can just grab that stem, put some tension on the thread and snap it out. And then I can just kind of fluff up the hackle feathers, make sure that they are on both sides of the hook shank. I'll put a whip finish on that. And because I'm going to head cement it, it doesn't need to be too much Three or four wrap finishes probably enough. Get rid of the thread. And then for head cement, I do use diluted goop. Goop comes in a tube, and I just stick my needle in my jar, picks up a drop, and I can just drop that on the head, and that'll cement that head and it'll dry clear. So the WC Prime pattern Black Spider from Mary Orvis Marbury's book Favorite Flies and Their Ties as illustrated by her father Charles Orvis.